Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to KOW. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a huge show to open up, or a huge match, rather, to open up our show tonight, where we are getting yet another women's tag team extravaganza match as tonight we finish the current bracket so that next week the last two shows before kow last stand we get started on the next bracket of the tournament and uh obviously still a lot to go yet as this woman juma sims and her partner, Jalen Baden, get to compete tonight in some more of the women's tag team tournament action. Of course, Friday, uh, we had Bad and Backwoods, Brittany Riggs and Breland Dubbin, knock off Sam Kent and Rebecca Monroe to increase their undefeated streak. And tonight, the second team that is undefeated the team of the Cosplay Bays looks to knock off Juma and Jalen to become the second team to, or rather, yeah, the second team now to go six points into the tournament and be undefeated. So this is, of course, the last match of the C bracket. And, uh, of course, or block, rather, depending on which technical term you prefer to use, this is the last match of the C block or bracket. And so next week on KOW, we're going to get the start of the D block. And next week's action in the D block starts with the team of Sarah Gobb and Faye Obey taking on the team of Juma Sims and Jalen Baden. So to a degree, to a degree, Juma and Jalen don't really get any rest for the tournament. I mean, they have a match tonight, and then Friday, just five days from now, they compete once again, this time against the team of Sarah Gobb and Feo Bay. Speaking of which, Feo Bay will get to contend for the women's title at KOW Last Stand. But tonight, her opponent, the women's champion, Kayla May, well, she's going to be in our main event action, so you're not going to want to miss that. But right now, to start our show, it's all about the women's tag team division because one of these eight female tag teams will become the second team to qualify for the tag team title ladder match at January's pay-per-view that is the biggest KOW pay-per-view ever that will ever happen, KOW Clash of Immortals. And right now, the two favorite teams to go and become the second qualifiers, well, that is, of course, the team of Bad and Backwoods. And this team, who has also defeated the Cos Play Bays. Meg Ted in the back, Mariah Marie up front. And, of course, at some point in the tournament, these two undefeated teams will have to clash and not both of these teams can win. That is assuming that both the Cosplay Bays and Bad and Backwoods remain undefeated. And we're going to find out tonight if the Cosplay Bays will stay undefeated because, well, they're going to compete and hopefully, I would think, they're confident in winning, especially considering the teams they've already faced their debut match being a huge and one of the best matches of the tournament so far i would expect nothing less from this match tonight juma sims starting it off with meg ted and here we go and right off the bat 
Mag Ted, big suplex. And she just gets right to work. And now Juma sends her into the turnbuckle. But it is Meg who then turns it around and puts Juma down. Big stomps. And now it is Meg putting Juma into her corner. And she tags in Mariah Marie. Oh, big cross body onto Juma. And now it is Mariah Marie taking over control. Goes for the pin. But doesn't realize Juma's foot is under the rope. Oh, big kick to the chest. And now puts Juma down once again. And now sending her over the top rope. Big punch to the side of the head. Barely phased Juma. And now it is Juma putting Mariah Marie down. And she makes a smart choice and tags in her partner. Jalen Baden. And now oh, hangs her up on the rope. And of course this team since debuting at the beginning of the tournament has been so good. And now Mariah Marie taking Juma out of the situation. And I was about to say the cosplay bay is just in complete control, but now it's Jalen taking advantage. Oh, big jawbreaker. And a big forearm puts down Jalen, goes for the pin. One, only a one count. And now... Mariah Marie trying to work the arm, but Jalen does fight out of it. And now it is Jalen taking control and putting Mariah Marie into her corner. But Mariah Marie now takes control. And once again, focusing on, on Juma, perhaps, perhaps a plan here. As she now takes Jalen and puts her down with a big tornado. DDT goes for the pin off the big tornado. One. Only a one count. And she makes the tag. And of course the referee perhaps overstepping his power, but it does not matter because now Juma has control. And now it is Mariah Marie who is in danger. Oh, big spinning heel kick. And perhaps, yes, it is for the best that she bring in Meg Ted who doesn't let Juma get up and now it is Meg Ted oh big Hurricane Rana now Juma instantly up out of the Hurricane Rana and gets side rush and leg sweeped now Meg Ted going up top. Jalen perhaps looking to provide a distraction. Not distracted as Meg Ted though goes for the pin off the splash. One, two, only a two count on Juma Sims. And now Meg Ted, big leaping pile driver. And now she's going up top. Perhaps something big planned here. Another big splash. She picks up Juma. Juma taking a lot of damage. Oh, a big code breaker. Big code breaker from Meg Ted. Goes for the pin. One, two, and it is Jalen who breaks it up. And now Meg Ted's got Juma up. And, oh. Hangs her up across the top rope. And the cosplay bays, for the most part, have just dominated this match. And now sends her into her corner. A little bit of teamwork here going on from the cosplay bays. Big spear clothesline combo goes for the pin. One, two, only a two count for Mariah Marie, who begins showing off. But she lets Juma get the hot tag. But instantly, 
shutting them down. Oh, big kick to put Jalen down. Now Mariah Marie. Big full Nelson. Oh, face buster. Draping across the knees. Now she's perhaps calling it. It is time for a big Meg blower. A big Mariah blower. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. And the cosplay bays in a dominant performance remain undefeated and increase their point total from four to six. And it is looking like we are set for a huge clash. Of course, we talked about Jalen and Juma. We'll have to go and face off against Sarah Gobb and Fayo Bay, but the Cosplay Bay's next opponents, well, they're going to be taking on the team of Haley J and Samantha Coach, perhaps one of the biggest challenges to them yet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our second match of the evening as uh, we've got something huge for you. Now, last week, this man... David Bow beat the KOW Infinite Champion Adam Mays. And well, he started talking about perhaps looking towards the future and becoming Infinite Champion. Now, of course, Dave, both David Reich and Adam Mays for the first time ever agreed on something in saying that David Bow should be nowhere near the Infinite Championship scene and General Manager Sherman did disagree with that, and so he made this match for tonight. David Bowe takes on David Reich, and if David Bowe wins this match, he will be added as a third participant, making next week's KOW Infinite Championship match a triple threat Extreme Rules match for the KOW Infinite Championship. Now, this man... David Reich has already said that he will stop at nothing to prevent that match from being a triple threat because he wants his infinite championship back. And so tonight, the stage has been set. David Reich versus David Bowe. If David Bow wins, he it becomes a triple threat match with him involved. If David Reich wins, it stays a one-on-one -on -one match. And so now it's time to see if David can pull out arguably the biggest win of his career with an infinite championship match hanging in the balance. And this man, David Reich, of course, last time we seen him, he had lost to Adam Mays in the Infinite Championship rematch where Adam Mays beat him for the Infinite Championship. And so now he needs to not only defeat David Bow tonight, but also next week, on the Christmas Eve episode of KOW, he will have to defeat Anna Mays in their last match to retain to regain his infinite title and move on from Adam Mays. However, if he loses tonight, he will have to go over an extra obstacle in David Bow in that match. A lot hanging in the balance, and this is not even our main event. Our main event is still to come. The women's champion will be in action in our main event tonight. But first, a match with more weight than anything we've seen so far in KOW. David Bowe, David Reich, one-on-one. -on -one. David Reich out the gate, starts working on the head of David Bowe. 
Oh. Just move after move after move after move. Into the corner. But David Bow now fighting out. Oh, big bulldog. And David Bow still yet to get any offense in. And now David Reich puts him up on the top turnbuckle. He's now got him set for something here. Oh, drops him right on the top of his head. Goes for the pin. One, only a one count. Obviously, the worst case scenario would be for David Reich to lose this match. Something he has already said he doesn't plan on doing. Oh, David Bo countering. But David Reich counters right back. Big clubbing forearm. And now into the Brain Buster again. Working on that head and neck of David Bo. Oh, big elbow to the side of the head. Oh, and a big kick to the back. And now it is David Bow who fights back, putting David Wright down, and David Wright says, no, 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 no. And now David Bow hanging up David Wright and puts him down into the mat. Oh, big kick to the back. And now David Wright going up top, perhaps planning something big. Oh, big corkscrew senton. And now already, David Bow has just not been on his game this match. But wait, he counters a big inverted suplex. And now picking up David Reich. And now it is David Reich who counters David Bow, putting him down on his back. He now picks him up. Big code breaker. Again, working over that head and neck. Oh, big kick to the head. And now David Bow has got him up. Oh, big backpack face buster. Stomping and working the arm. And now finally David Bow is getting some offense in. As he begins to pick up David Reich. Oh, who fights his way out of it. But David Bow once again taking control. And this match is just completely 180'd. As David Reich was in control out the gate, and now it is David Bow who is in control. Oh. And now taking this brawl to the outside. But of course, again, if David Bow wants to be added to that infinite championship match, he's got to win this match. If both of him and David Reich are counted out, it will not add him to that infinite title match. And now David Reich sending David Bow into the ring. Picks him up. Oh, God. Wait. Could it be? It is. Reich's fall. Reich's fall. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Only... A two count. David Bow is not an easy competitor to beat. He's been known. He fought in a hellacious battle against a world champion in the heavyweight championship tournament. Now David Wright desperate goes for the second pin to only a two count once again. David Wright showing off again. Now sending David Bow into the ropes. Goes for the drop kick. Bow counters. Big punch. And now it is David Reich who fights out again. But David Bow once again. Oh. One brother. Two brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 
three brothers. And now David Bowe perhaps feeling a little froggy. He's going to go for it all. He does. Five star frog splash one. Only a one count. David Reich refuses to let David Bowe into the match for the infinite title. And now David Bowe goes up high again. Oh, big senton. And David with a big counter. This could be very bad for David Bowe. Yes, it's a code breaker. Everything's going wrong. Will David Reich finish it here? He tried to follow up. Failed. And David Reich shoving David Bowe off. Goes for the big clothesline, but misses. And now David Bowe. Oh, big brain buster. Goes for the pin off the, bane, off the brain buster. Two. Only a two count. As David Reich kicks out at two. And once again, David Bowe going to go up top. Will it pay off for him? So far it has every time. But no, David Reich. Now, perhaps, looking for something big. Yes. Big. Big suplex. Drags him away from the ropes to prevent a rope break. Goes for the pin. One. But David Wright kicks out at one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only the second match of the night. Not even our main event. Oh. David Bow misses the senton. David Wright takes the opportunity for the pin. One. Two, only a two count. And now David Wright just showing off. Goes for the sneaky pin, but it's a rope break. And now David Wright going for the suplex. Oh, another big brain buster. And now after a stomp, perhaps looking to follow up. Big code breaker on David Bowe, but both men are beat and physically exhausted. David Wright goes for the pin, though. One, two, only a two count for David Wright, who has to be wondering at this point, what is it going to take? Perhaps one more Reich's fall. He's going to go for it. It is a Reich's fall. Reich's fall goes for the pin. One, two, only a two count. David Bowe kicks out again. And now, oh, big lion salt onto David Bowe. Goes for the pin once again. One, two, three. And David Bowe, he fought and fought and fought. But at the end of the night, it just wasn't enough. David Reich putting an exclamation point on it with the crotch chop. And now he must now look towards his infinite championship match against Adam Mays. As he is happy that it will remain a one-on-one -on -one match for the infinite championship. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event. That's right. If you thought the last match was good, well, you get just a little more action because our main event is huge. The women's champion, Kayla May, just days, well, about a week from her huge match for her women's title at last stand is in some competition tonight against, well, this woman. One half of the first team to qualify for the women's tag team titles. That's right. It is Joni Law. And of course, we haven't seen any action out of Joni Law or Crystal Luck since their victory in the women's tag team tournament. And so Joni was quick to accept General Manager Sherman's 
request to take on the women's champion. And so she is here tonight without her partner competing alone against the women's champion. And who knows if Joni can win tonight against the women's champion, it's possible she could be in line for a women's title match and she could become the first and only woman to hold two women's titles at the same time. And of course, Joni Law has already made her mark in the women's tag team division. We still are waiting to see who the New Age Bad Girls opponents will be, whether it will be the Cosplay Bays, Bad and Backwoods, Aaron Cassidy and Morgan Shet, whoever it will be. We will find out within the next month or so. And Joni is ready for some competition that she hasn't had in a very long time. She's going to get it in the form of the women's champion, Kayla May, of course. Successful in defending her women's title against Sam Kent. And now at KOW Last Stand, December 27th, she will have to defend her women's championship against the new number one contender, Faye Obey, who will be in action next Sunday, as it has just been announced that Faye Obey will take on the other half of the New Age Bad Girls, Crystal Luck, in the last show before last stand. Huge announcements, and the time ticks down to KOW last stand. Here we go. Joni Law versus the women's champion, Kayla May. And right out the gate, Joni looking good, showing zero ring rust in the month since the last time she competed. Big slaps from Kayla May. Oh, with a quick suplex. And now she goes for the pin off the quick suplex. Only a one. And now Kayla May, perhaps, trying to pull off something she's not capable of. And now, oh, big slam. Oh, and Joni moves out of the way of the big senton. And already, Joni showing that she's still ready to fight. Oh, just continuously fighting the women's champ. And now she takes control again with a big neck breaker onto Joni Law. And now Kayla believes she is in control. Oh, but Joni now taking advantage and Kayla taking it right back, putting her down onto the mat. Kayla now going up high, some high risk, perhaps. Waits for Joni to get up. Oh, big crossbody. Goes for the pin off the crossbody from the top. One. Only a one count. Now sending her into the turnbuckle. And now just choking her out with her foot. And now big sit-out powerbomb. Continuing to work that lower back of Joni Law. And now Kayla trying to press the advantage, but it is Joni who fights out. And now Joni oh, picks her up for the big Falcon's Arrow slam and pin combination. And it is Kayla May who kicks out. And now she once again escapes. And she baits out Joni Law who falls into her trap. Oh, Kayla May just... Slamming her down, big knees, follow-up knees. Oh, hard into the stomach. And now she goes up for a big senton. Going up again, perhaps. She's got something in 
idea goes for the big mayday goes for the big mayday pin on the mayday one two only a two count is Joni Law kicking out and perhaps now is the time for Kayla to begin thinking about switching up strategy perhaps she continues and she does not give Joni a breather. So now she picks Joni up. Oh, big slam. Goes for the pin off the slam after working the back. Oh, big natural selection. And now Kayla Bay once again continuing to pick away at Joni Law. Oh, continuously hurting that head. Oh, but Joni counters out of whatever Kayla was about to do. And rolls her up for a pinning combination. One, two, two. Perhaps even a little too sweet on that. She now sends Joni into the corner. And now it is Joni who fights back and hits her with a big backbreaker. Oh, big Falcon's arrow slam goes for the pin off the Falcon's arrow, but it's a rope break for Kayla May. Oh, and Kayla quickly shutting down Joni. And now she sends Joni into the corner. And Joni once again fighting out of the corner, but Kayla quickly putting her back in the corner. Oh. Now Kayla sets her up. Perhaps went for the big punch. Oh, big double axe handle by Joni Law off the top. And now Joni calling for something here. Big spear by Joni Law. Big spear. Perhaps that's all she needs to put the champ away. Goes for the pin. Off the spear. One, two, three. Joni Law knocking off the champion. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a huge, huge statement for the women's, well, one half of the tag team involved in the women's tag team title ladder match. She gets a huge win after not being in the ring for a long time. And now she continues to wait for her opponents in that women's ladder match. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for all of our KOW action. And for this week, check us out Friday when we have a huge match. Huge six-man tag team action as the Sages of Savagery take on the Stupidity Crew in a six-man tag team match on Friday. And then join us Sunday when the number one contender for the women's championship, Fayo Bay, takes on the other half of the New Age Bad Girls, Crystal Luck. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want more of all this KOW action, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Purple Sherman's YouTube channel. And until next time, we'll see you later.